Alright guys, hope you're doing well and you haven't performed any illegal activities since the last video. Uh, today I just want to talk briefly about my results of microdosing 1V LSD, which has been provided to me very kindly by the wonderful people over at 1CPLSD.com. And yeah, just to reiterate like I have done in past videos, if you're interested in if you're interested in researching these tools yourself, then please consider checking out their website. Um, they've got everything you need to investigate these matters. So yeah, uh, I fully endorse them. So basically, yeah, they sent me over some some tabs of 1VLSD, and they were all at 100 micrograms each, and I decided... Uh, initially that I'm going to microdose them rather than uh, jump into the deep end and see what they're like uh, by taking a full one. Uh, but I will be doing it at some point in the future so look forward to a full review of uh, the product at some point. And yeah, basically I've been <clears throat> I've been using it to just improve my cognitive abilities just in day to day life and say I've been doing a lot of work like physical labour uh, on my garden and etc. Uh, and I've noticed it really helps me in that regard as well because for me personally everybody's different uh, when it comes to stuff like this but yeah this is just my my personal anecdotes from my experience of using these research chemicals so yeah basically um, I started using it and I just was it, since the 100 microgram tabs I was just literally just cutting out tiny little squares out of the whole tab um, obviously it's not always evenly distributed throughout the uh, the blotter paper but for the most part it's usually negligible it's, you know, it's usually like um, it's usually only a few m micrograms difference between all of them I'd say because obviously 100 micrograms isn't isn't is quite a it's like a th it's low to threshold or common dose depending on who you are because obviously it affects everyone differently so yeah, I started doing that last week and over a week of using it, I've noticed yeah, vast improvements in a lot of areas. Um, personally, I, I'm quite an anxious person. I never used to be, which is weird. I'm still trying to figure it out. Over the past few years, I've become more anxious. Maybe it's good. Ever since, ever since COVID struck in, in early 2020, uh, I've noticed my anxiety um, creeping back in. But through the use of microdosing I've noticed that um, these anxious feelings have really started to subside and it's really taken me out of my own head and just got me focused in what I'm doing because I can struggle to do that because I do have some autistic ADHD tendencies uh, I wouldn't say I'm fully uh, ADHD or autistic well I don't even know I mean I'd, I'd have to go to a doctor and do that but that fucking that takes that takes a goddamn long time to uh, get diagnosed. But right for the for the part time being, I, I am all right. But I've noticed that yeah, the microdosing really um, diminishes these feelings of uh, being in my stuck in my own head and morbid thoughts and just generally just not being present. And I've noticed that microdosing just really makes me feel present. Uh, Sometimes if I want to take it a bit further, maybe take a bit more of the blotter, uh, I get the slight, you know, the slight tingling, like electric sensation of, of acid, um, but with none of the visuals or the extreme trippiness, but it, it's still just slightly, slightly stronger than like a regular microdose for me. And say I'd use that if I was going into a social situation that I was anxious about, it would really help me um, just let myself go and just accept what is what's happening around me and um, which could be quite hard to do just in a sober state so yeah i've noticed it's been a really great tool and uh yeah big ups big ups to the guys at uh, 1cplsd.com because it's actually really helped me out this week uh i've noticed like past month i don't know i always go a bit strange around winter my mind just seems to go haywire and I start to, um, my ego sort of starts to solidify in a way and microdosing these tabs has really helped me just keep it in check and it's also allowed me to be more expressive and articulate with my friends 
Um, it's allowed me to be more motivated. It's been getting me out of bed in the morning, which I really struggle with. Which is, I don't know, I don't know what's, I don't know what's wrong with me. You tell me what's wrong with me. I wish I knew, but I really do struggle to like get up, even if I've had like a really good like nine hours sleep. I, I still feel tired, but for some reason, yeah, the microdosing it's really just cleared out all my brain fog and decluttered the egoic bullshit that's in my mind. And it's been going really, really well, so I, I can absolutely vouch for the positivity of microdosing one VLSD. Obviously, I've microdosed one uh, normal LSD in the past. I used to be a... I was training up to be a stonemason when I had no idea what I wanted to do with my life. And I just was like... I just started labouring on these, like, stonemasons. And I was just, like, chopping up... Well, smashing up these rocks to make sure they were uh, a good shape to fit onto walls. And obviously this would be extremely monotonous for like nine hours a day. But when I was doing uh, the microdose, it actually made it so much easier and, and just allowed me to just let loose and just enjoy the present moment, even if it's something I don't normally enjoy doing. And funnily enough, the guy I worked with, he was also microdosing and that's what got it in my head. I was like, oh, right, well, if he's doing it, surely, surely I'll be all right. And yeah, that was like the beginning of my microdosing journey. <laughs> So now, yeah, back, and now back to today, I've been given the opportunity to do it again through these one VLSD tabs, and it's been, yeah, it's been absolutely great for me. I, I, I'd fully recommend it for most people, but you've always got to take this stuff with a grain of salt. <laughs> Some people it just doesn't work for. I mean, I know, I know there's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of research, and that's that Vice article came out a few years ago, and it was like, is LSD microdosing just a placebo effect? Top scientists answer your questions or some like, just basically some clickbait shit. And then you read the article and, and no advice. It's usually just like a lot of word salad. Uh, no disrespect device. They make great videos and really good documentaries, but their articles can be pretty hit or miss. And to be honest, they spread a bit of misinformation sometimes. But yeah, for the, I'd say for the most part, microdosing really does work for a lot of people. But yep, you've always got to be careful because everyone's brain chemistry is different. You never know how you're going to react to stuff like this. A microdose for me might be a threshold dose, <laughs> delulse, a threshold dose for someone else with different genetics, uh, different densities of ego. Because another thing that we, you've got to take into consideration is psychedelics will affect you differently based on how dense your ego is on and how close-minded you are or open-minded you are like if you're more open-minded chances are you're going to be more sensitive to psychedelics and the profound uh, mystical experiences that they can c convey to you but say if you've got a dense ego uh say if you're like i'm a fucking gammon me lad uh, gammons are these like hot-headed football hooligan right-wing nut jobs in the UK. It's quite a funny word. They're called gammons because obviously they go red when they've not had they've not had enough pints on draft and enough mushy peas in the dinner. Uh, so yeah, they, they you say you give a gammon like football hooligan a tab and he's gonna he, he'll probably go in, he, either he's gonna go insane because he's not gonna be ready for like the profound things he's he's understanding for it or the inverse of that is that it just won't affect him at all it'll just be like it'll just be completely recreational like oh look at me like i'm fucking tripping me nuts off me or whatever um so yeah it can go one or two ways so yeah you've always got to keep in mind when we're talking about stuff like this and if you do decide to investigate one cplsd.com for for these tools to explore your consciousness just always be careful and always always work your way up. In fact, if you've never done LSD before, I'd recommend actually microdosing it at first for a while and then slowly building your way up because it's not a race, is it? You, you can, and if anything, gradually doing something will make you appreciate the whole experience more. I can vouch for that big time because I remember back in the day when I was just a massive session. I was like, right, let's just fucking get two tabs down my gullet, lad, and it'll be right. And then that's how all of my chaotic, horrific ego deaths have come about. But uh, yeah, back to the topic. I'm I'm so bad at going off on tangents. 
it's been going really well this uh, the first week. I'll probably update it again in a month and see how I'm doing. I've got quite a few tabs left to uh, to work my way through, uh, but I'll save a few for a full review of uh, an, a 100 microgram dose to see how it compares because I'm really excited to try it after researching so much about it and having been contacted by the people at Lizard Labs. So yeah, I hope you're looking forward to that in the future. I'll be sure to get on it straight away. I'll try and do like a one VLSD related video once every week or so because yeah, this is this is really cool cutting edge stuff uh, that that most people aren't aware of, and it, it's gonna it's gonna really help in the psychedelic revolution that we're currently living in, and it's gonna help progress humanity's consciousness if we start taking stuff like this seriously as a collective because it, they are great tools for. <clears throat> positive change but with great power comes great responsibility in the words of our lord and savior so yeah let's just end that video right now because i think i'm starting to chat a lot of crap hope you all hope you all had a good day and i'll see you in the next one uh we've got some good trip reports coming out this week some really fascinating ones uh, actually uh, just in terms of like my connection with the people who've submitted it, it's really quite mad. So you'll have to keep your eyes peeled for that one, my lad. <laughs> See you later.